Hey there, hi, good morning. It's Liz Davis. I am a nutritionist and gut health specialist and I help busy women fix their IBS symptoms, bloating, etc., which can really interfere with life and um, get you feeling on top form again. So today I thought would be a pertinent time to talk a bit more about immunity. And I was gonna give you three really, really simple things you can do, you can start doing today to really give your immune system a helping hand. Um, but first of all, I was gonna give you a bit of background about the immune system and viruses, etc., and um, what generally is happening with them. So, I mean, we're constantly exposed to viruses, bacteria, and everything else um, constantly. They're all over our skin, they're on surfaces, they're in the air, we breathe continually. Um, and whether or not the bad ones lead to disease or not is largely determined by whether our immune system is functioning effectively or not. Um, so the thing also to remember with the immune system is that we want to keep it in balance. We don't want it going too overboard because then that can give us problems such as autoimmunity and allergies. And we don't want it slacking either because then that can um, you know, give rise to all the bugs we're subjected to at this time of year. Um, it's not always easy to keep in this state though, is it? So, I mean, um, obviously we all succumb now and again, just because that's the nature of the game. But um, we can get colds that turn very nasty, um, go bacterial and require antibiotics. Flu is always horrendous and it can go on for months and months and months. And also, um, and, you know, that's before you get to stomach bugs as well. So these actions are going to help with all of those things. Um, and they're really simple. I'll get into that in a minute. I mean, I've, I've talked a lot about vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, etc. So I won't go over all that now, but I've got plenty of blogs and videos if you want to read about that. Um, but these are extra actions that you can be taking in addition to anything to do with food. Okay, so the first big one then is sleep. So have you ever noticed that when you do come down with something, it's normally when you're tired? Well, there actually is a reason for this. It's because um, your, mu your immune system literally can't do its pro job properly if you're tired. And this has been shown in studies time and time again, where people who've had less than six hours sleep a night just their immune system, they're much more susceptible to colds and viruses than people who've had at least seven hours sleep a night. So a lot of people need even more than seven hours. Most people are sort of eight, eight and a half, nine hours even that they need a night, but you'll know um, what your unique requirements are. So the more you can stick to that effectively, the better you're going to be at fighting any potential bugs off. So um, also if you do get ill, make sure that you rest because your body wants you to rest when you've got anything because that's how it fights off the virus properly. So don't, don't kind of try and soldier on or anything like that because um, your body just won't be able to fight the virus. So if you're feeling tired and it wants you to rest, make sure you rest. Um, so that's sleep. The second one I was going to suggest is to take a probiotic supplement. There are lots of probiotic foods, but they can sometimes be a bit of a faff either to make or get hold of. But your probiotic foods would be sauerkraut, kimchi, water kefir, milk kefir, etc. Natural yogurt. They all they all contain good amounts of um, uh, beneficial bacteria and um, the beneficial bacteria will help you um, balance your immune system. So your immune system isn't doing too much or too little, it's nicely in balance and um, will help you fight off bugs again. If you don't fancy taking or eating probiotic foods, just supplement it, it's probably easier to supplement. Um, use a good quality brand such as BioCare, um, that will really help you. Um, I'd avoid the cheaper supermarket brands if they've got them in there. Always look for a quality one such as BioCare. Um, and, you know, many, many studies have shown that not only does it um, sort of stop you, prevent you um, catching viruses in the first place, catching colds or whatever, 
um, that it will actually lower the amount of virus you've got in your um, nasal mucus as well. So it's very, it is a definite thing um, and it is very, very effective. Um, and then the third thing I would definitely do is moderate exercise. So don't be thinking that you've got to go and do loads and loads of exercise and run marathons and pump iron in the gym or anything like that. That can actually have a detrimental effect and make you more susceptible to infection. What you want to be doing is your moderate exercise regularly. So stuff like very brisk walking, cycling, swimming, um, aerobic exercise, running, etc. Um, cycling as well, did I say that? So yeah, all those things are really um, beneficial for your immune system. So why is that? Well, basically your immune cells are normally hanging around. They're just sort of loafing around, not doing much in your lymph tissue. Um, but when you start exercising, um, the action of the muscles will start pumping the lymph around your body, pumping the blood around your body. So that gets the uh, immune cells up and moving as well. So they're circulating around your body and then they're increasing in number and they're actually getting rid of any um, unwanted visitors around your body. So, you know, getting rid of it much, much more effectively. And studies have shown that this actually will go on for a good three hours after you've done your exercise so if you're then doing a good amount of exercise every day or most days getting out for a good walk every day this effect is going to be happening pretty much constantly so if you're a very uh, regular exerciser like that your chances of catching anything um, or catching it badly are going to reduce by about um, 40 percent so that's quite a significant um, decreased chance you have of catching anything okay so that's three really quick things you can do there that's your um sleeping get making sure you're getting adequate sleep um probiotics the thing with probiotics if you've got um ibs symptoms or you suspect you may have SIBO then taking probiotics may make things worse for you so if you have that going on then do um do hold fire on the probiotics and if you want to talk to me about testing for SIBO then do book yourself into my diary. I've put a link in the comments so you can book yourself in to discuss that. Um, but anybody else, yes, you should be fine with probiotics. And um, then of course, regular exercise as well. Those three things should really help you. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, as I say, if you want to speak to me, I shall pop a link to my diary in the comments. And otherwise, I shall see you next time. Okay, bye.